Yeah, we're gonna try to move this garage today. It's 22 by 22. Did a lot of reinforcing here, every which way I could think of. Corner to corner and uh, the bottom's going up to the rafters. Tied the rafters together. We are gonna cut this centerpiece off right here so we can get the trailer backed in. And then we're gonna set up four jacks, um, two on each of the side walls. We have this uh, bottom plate that runs along here on both sides. It's the equal distance, so we'll jack it up, get the trailer in here. We've got some telephone poles we're gonna set um, side to side. And hopefully we can let her down and we got about a mile or so to go down the gravel road. And hopefully it's a safe journey. It is really hot today. Hopefully we survive it all. It's a lot bigger now, doesn't it? Ah, there she's not. Yeah. And leave it there. Yeah, I'm watching this corner. It's getting kind of low.
Well, we got the garage here, and really wasn't any issues. It was kind of hair raising the pull process, but it turned out good. And like people were telling me, you never know what board you put up is going to be the one that keeps it all together. And it seems like overkill when you add all these different tie-ins and things, but it was probably all necessary. On these sideboards, I used a 3 8 diameter by four inch lag screw, and I doubled them up across the bottom here to where the poles um, were pushing up against. And I even put in some two by fours on the studs to reinforce, to kind of dis try to disperse the weight going up to this upper plate and then across the upper plate I put some um, diagonal pieces tying the rafters in trying to support the roof weight and yeah we had to cut the center piece out to get the trailer in what we're gonna do is put in a, a 18 foot double door because eventually that centerpiece is probably going to get run into or who knows what. I just like this the look of the double door. It's going to be real nice here. And I was thinking about going with block, a block foundation, one layer of block. But I think now I've changed my mind. I'm just going to go with the original plate. There was a plate on here that kind of rotted away very much so. It's an old plate it's an old garage and I'm just gonna go with the treated uh, two by six get some concrete screws screw it down and I, it's not gonna give me quite the height that I was hoping to get but I think it's gonna be just fine another little thing we did is put a come along in the middle to keep these walls the side walls from Separating or bowing out the middle put a strap across the front here too to Kind of help preserve that the splitting out of the the front walls But it helps to have a big trailer triple axle and It's a very low trailer. So that really helped us too We had to get 14 inches off the ground is what I was hoping to get and that's about what we got. We needed every inch of it a couple spots We were kind of dragging or brushing up against the ground But it worked out fine now we're gonna Put my plate down and then we're gonna have to jack it back up again uh, Cut the posts out remove the trailer and then set it down and then bolt it down to the plate. Like I said, it's an old shed, so or an old garage. It's not quite as square on the pad as I like it to be, but the pad is a whole too. It's back from the 60s. The concrete's actually held up pretty well, but as far as how square it is, you just can't tell anymore with the chipping and the wearing away. And the... But for the most part, it's pretty straight on there. Some parts could be adjusted, but if you try to adjust them, it's going to throw everything else off. So I think we're just going to go with what we got. Yeah, so it went really good getting it over here. We got it up on the cement. Um, 
and now we're going to try to jack it up just the same as we did over there in the same four spots relieve the pressure off the telephone poles cut the poles get the trailer and everything out of here and then slowly but surely bring it down and get a two by six treated plate underneath it we already have it across the back but the dude on the sides would already be in the way of the jack so we have to wait until we're really close to setting her down